So this is the first look at the FG200 DDS function generator. The one I bought comes with these components, which is this is the power cable. This is a BNC cable to connect to whatever you want. Another one that has the alligator clips that lets you connect to whatever you want to. And then this thing is, uh, they got little details here. It's a Schumann resonance uh, pad. It's kind of, they call it kind of like an antenna. But basically, you can read all these details later. Basically, it lets you kind of transmit a frequency that way. So I'm more or less going to go ahead and um, hook this up to my oscilloscope. And we're going to see what the waveforms actually look like. How is the frequency response from low frequencies to high frequencies? Does it attenuate at all? And at the end, I'm going to give a little clip on the different sounds that the different waveforms make for anybody who's curious. I've got it hooked up to the input of my oscilloscope and hooked up to power and we'll power it on. So first thing it goes through says a couple of messages and then tells me what it's configured to do. It's got the waveform set as a sine wave at 1000 hertz. So there's no output into the oscilloscope at this point uh, until we hit the run stop button. That enables the output and you can see here and we now have a waveform of about 8 volts and at 1000 hertz and this knob here will adjust the amplitude up and down i found that the maximum it will go to is about 20 volts you cannot adjust the frequency all of these buttons are basically ignored while it's running with the run stop and also this dc offset that's how you can move the waveform up and down because uh, it applies a dc bias to the input you also notice that it changed the uh, output 9.92 volts versus the 8 volts that I had before. For our testing purposes, we don't need to use the bias. And this filter um, I read basically applies a filter so that at higher frequencies, the waveform looks more like a sine wave when you've got sine wave set. At this frequency, I don't think you're going to see any difference. And in fact, we don't. The uh, VPP did not change at all. Let's go ahead and see what other waveforms this can produce. Turn it off and change the mode to a square wave. So that is now a square wave at 1 kilohertz. It'll do a triangle wave. It'll do a sawtooth wave. And a reverse sawtooth. ECG is basically a, what an ECG looks like. Of course, at 1000 hertz, it's kind of unrealistic. Exponential rise. Exponential decay. Lorenz. Gaussian, sync, half wave. This would be like DC rectification for a half wave, one diode. Full wave, which would be a full wave rectification. And notice the frequency went up to 2 kilohertz. Because when you do full wave from a sine wave, you do get twice the frequency. Schumann. This is a specific frequency that that antenna would be used for, for transmitting. And we can see there, it's 7.83 hertz. And it'll also do noise, if you want to just see a noise. Uh, Thing. This is probably not going to sync too well, and I guess the noise has a zero point in there once in a while. Okay, that's kind of a quick overview of the different waveforms that it can generate. Um, if you want to change the frequency, it, you have to have it stopped, and then you go to the digit you want to change, um, and you can go up and down. For example, if I want to do 1100 hertz, I would just do plus and it would be 1100. 
and I can use the minus to go back down. This does decrement other digits as well. So if I go down again, because it it's going to go from 1000 to 900 hertz, et cetera, et cetera. If I go nine, then one higher, it goes increments the next digit up. So for our purposes, let's go ahead and pick some higher frequencies. Since I want to use this for audio testing, and we saw that we were running uh, 8 volts peak to peak, let's go ahead and do something like uh, 10 kilohertz and see how that looks on here. All right, we can see that it was flat, 8 volts peak to peak from 1 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz. Let's go ahead and do go to 20, which would be a common place that people would measure. And that also is 8 volts peak to peak. Well, maybe a little less, 7.92. But basically, that's pretty flat at that point. And if we decide to go all the way up to, let's just say, 50, we're going to get a little bit of attenuation, you can see here, 7.84 volts. Um, but it's at 50 kilohertz. And let's go to uh, 100 kilohertz. See what that looks like. There's our sine wave. Still looks pretty good. There is a bit of attenuation. 200 kilohertz. And let's go ahead and just go up to the 500 kilohertz that it's rated for, and let's see what that looks like. Let's go back to the sine wave. And let's see what the other waves form, like the square wave. Yeah, the square wave is looking a little contorted. And you press that, and now you have a sine wave. So the filter is only really useful for turning anything into a sine wave. So the triangle looks more like a sine wave to me. Sawtooth, that's a decent job. Reverse sawtooth. ECG, yeah, you're losing some resolution here. Now let's, let's synchronize that so it's not so flickery. Well, I guess not. maybe increase the amplitude. I don't know. Interesting that it's showing me these different things. That's an easy one. That's interesting because it looks like there's an offset here, but it's not really not really uh, zeroing it out. There we go. That's better. Half wave. Full wave. Now that's going to be like a megahertz. This scope is good up to 50 megahertz, so there's no problem there. And all well, the Schumann's not what we're really worried about. And then the noise is just going to be noise. But um, that's kind of it. I think, uh, I think this thing is pretty good. I'll give a little demo of what uh, the frequencies sound like. All right, so I've hooked up my oscilloscope through a T. Basically, the output of the frequency generator goes through a T. One goes to my audio amplifier, and the other one goes to the oscilloscope. And let's just do a quick sound check to see what this sounds like. So with this system here off, let's turn this on. We'll see what a sine wave sounds like. I'm sure this is pretty commonly known. Okay, go to the next one, which is going to be the square wave. Triangle. Sawtooth. Reverse sawtooth. ECG. Exponential rise, exponential decay, Lorenz, Gaussian, sink, half wave. Full wave. 
Zoom in. Well, I won't really hear that. And then the noise. All right, that concludes this demo. Overall, I like the device. It's pretty small, pretty versatile, and can generate a lot of different frequencies and a lot of different waveforms. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and have a great day.